what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dave B. You watch the Dave on TV where we're gonna be yelling at everyday bullshit that people be consuming on a day to day basis. And today I wanna talk about hey, whatever it is that you're afraid of, yo, fuck that shit. <laughs> Real shit, yo, fuck that shit. What are you afraid of at this point? What are you afraid of at this point? At this point, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, there is literally no reason to be afraid of anything when it comes to expressing who you truly are and leo season yo this is the perfect time for this kind of shit it's the perfect time to go ahead and just do it it's the perfect time to just go ahead and put it out right now we know when it comes to leo energy see when we express certain things and shit like that it's like we know that our expressions have consequences and shit like that and a lot of times we get hung up on how we think our actions or our expressions are going to kind of reverberate in the world and shit like that but like you got to realize that when you take certain actions that are authentic to you whatever like say you shake a branch whatever falls off that's meant to fall off it's not no situation where you express yourself, right? And, like, this is, like, it's very important to know, like, it's, it's expression, not just for the sake of expression, but expressing things that are true to you. Expressing things that are truly coming from your energy, that, that are th- authentic to you, that are a part of what you believe is, is, is what you believe in. Like, you know what I'm saying? What you believe in as far as, like, believing yourself. Like, you know, and, and this, ain't, this, ain't, this ain't for the people who still kind of just doing things for the sake of other people or doing things for the sake of trying to get attention. Like, that's that's the negative end of using that expression of Leo energy. It's like when you're just doing things for the sake of, like, trying to get a lot of attention or getting people to look at you and shit like that. It's like, no, I'm talking about when you, when you know sp- specifically more specifically like creative endeavors and shit like that you know this shit is authentic to you know you know this is real to you and you know that somewhere deep in your heart is you're being called to express it whatever falls off as a result is just meant to fall off whatever it doesn't quite connect or resonate shit at some point you might just have to chalk it up to being that like damn that shit just wasn't meant to connect with that person so i had to express it and it's like that leo entity and that fixed fire it's like we can't be afraid of that fixed fire sometimes that's that's what's what it's gonna take you know so sometimes that's what it takes is what it takes is actually putting that shit in the forefront what it takes is actually putting that shit and letting that shit be known and seen and reacted to in whatever way that it's gonna be react, reacted to but we gotta also keep in mind we can't control how other people are gonna react to our shit so by sitting there and being afraid of like oh okay if i put this out what's actually gonna be the result you'll basically put yourself in a perpetual sense of like a, a perpetual cycle of, 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 of nonsense really because at that point that's really when you become in la la land like la la land or being in an illusion is really whenever you try to take try to basically use the mind for shit that is impossible for the mind to really do aka know what other people are thinking know what other people are gonna say knowing what other people are gonna how other people are gonna move and trying to make calculations and analyzations based upon that it's like no no one you don't know until you put it out into the world you know what i'm saying that's kind of like the beauty of this shit because it's like at that point it's like what are you afraid of what are you afraid of, especially when it comes to creative endeavors, you know what I'm saying, a lot of us get pent up on quality, and I know especially now with Mars moving into Virgo, you know what I'm saying, we're going to be, mo- like, our, our passions and motivations, right, are going to be centered around trying to pinpoint the details and shit, and trying to calculate, okay, well, you know what I'm saying, and then I feel like th- this is really good for Mars in some sense, in the sense of, like, when it comes to our passions, we, we have the ability to be a little more calculated, to be a little more, um, you know, precise as far as how we go across, how we come across do, doing things and how we go about doing our passions and shit like that. So the benefit of Mars being in Virgo is like, yeah, we're going to have to take that energy of Mars and slow it down a little bit enough to get the details and derive the real point as far as pinpointing what it is that we actually want to hit and being more precise on that. That's good. But the, the negative end of that can be procrastinating on our uh, passions based upon not knowing how they might come across or or thinking that we have to reach some form of perfection and if you haven't yet go ahead and check out my esoteric hustler academy channel where i talk about um uh it's the video about how to be consistent with content and part of it one of uh one of the uh sections i had on there was about being ready 
and how there is no perfect time. It's just a matter of being prepared and ready for whenever the because opportunities is all around us constantly. But if you're not actually taking precautions and, and putting in the work on a day a day by day basis, right? Accumulating the work, accumulate because like when you work, when you work on something using that six house energy, you really it's like you really stockpiling on esoteric energy because you're putting yourself in a, a certain system in which you kind of like it's like even though because a lot of people think of work and think of instant gratification that's the world we live in we, we live in a world that kind of convinced everybody that that's how it's supposed to happen you work for something and you get a result immediately you work for x amount of hours and you get paid boom 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 but sometimes when you got to put in esoteric work you're not going to see the the, the, the the fruits of your labor tomorrow you're not going to see when you put in the esoteric work it's much more like planting Planting seeds, like that, that's why we even say planting seeds because seeds take time. Money, money take time. You know what I'm saying? Money, like you know what I'm saying? The money and tree correlation and shit like that. Money is patient. Money takes time, and like the money ain't the only form of currency. Sometimes we do certain things as far as the work we put in that creates opportunities in other areas or opens up other things for us to actually experience and those experiences be the actual currency and like it be currency in a way it's like currency exchange spiritually because us going through a certain experience might lead us to a certain thought and idea that lead us to a certain creation that lead us to actually producing something that actually can get us paid then you know what I'm saying later on down the line but people don't be in the a lot of us don't be in that creative don't don't use our creativity for all possibilities and positive shit we just use our creativities for uh anxieties and shit like that worrying about what other people is gonna think and shit like that it's like uh uh-uh you might express something today that might not get you paid tomorrow might actually put you in a weird awkward position tomorrow but later on down the line that awkward position led to you to come into certain conclusions that lead you to get you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like when we start talking about this, it starts to get dicey because it starts to sound like, well, you know what I'm saying? What if I never get that return on investment? And see, that that right there is like you already setting yourself for failure. It's like you got to really believe that this shit is going to come back to you. You got to really believe and truth. You genuinely trust in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Trusting yourself that whatever you do and put out into place, if you had the right intent behind it, it's going to come back to you like that. That's how it works. You know what I'm saying? You get what you deserve. You get what you put in to it. You get what you put out. You you, you got to get that return. That's the that's the ebb and flow of the, the, the universe. That's how that shit work. You know what I'm saying? That's how that shit play out. So these are different things we got to keep in mind. So stop being afraid. Like, being afraid of what? It's like, and once you stop being afraid on that like it, it take one thing to kind of create a domino effect because as you stop to take because it's like man a lot of us are just dictated by fear and i got a bunch of videos talking about fear in general but it's like right now I, i'm saying this again because it's just like the tone of this month the tone of this year the tone of this shit is about authenticity and being genuine and like i know that i'm exhausted i'm exhausted from not it's like, at this point, we've been going through so many different things. When I say I'm exhausted, I just mean that, like, the jig is up. Like, yo, what? whoever you are at a core level, you just got to let that shit shine. I'm exhausted for trying to calculate how I should present something, how I should go about doing something. It's like, like if anything, most of us have been working on something, right? Whether it be our brand, our platform, our business, whatever it is, our music, uh, we've been working on this shit for a while now. And at this point, especially if you in my age group, you know what I'm saying? I'm 26 and shit. If you in my age group, you already know it's like, man, we, we've been accumulating so much energy trying to try, trying, trying to do a bunch of shit. But it's like, man, we got to like, I, I know I, I am. And I know a lot of other people who are in the process of taking, trying out of the whole vocabulary because at this point it's like you just got to do what you do and right now it's like man with all these systems down and shit like that it's it's the time it's the it's like it's so much open space out here that it's like man if you think it's gonna be like this forever you lost <laughs> you lost it's not gonna be like this forever and right now it's the only time it, like not gonna be like uh, probably not the only time but it's like right here in the midst of at infrastructure change and shit like that, this time in which you can really get it going for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Going back in Mars and Virgo and shit like that, 
through very soon while he's gonna be trying in um, Uranus. So this is an extra emphasis, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I like this is shit that um, you know anybody who's been into astrology been talking about shit like this about you know Uranus being a Taurus again. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's a highlight. Uranus being a Taurus is a difficult aspect. It's a difficult. It's a difficult uh, alignment, but at the same time, it's one of the most. It's the it's the one that we can really use. You know what I'm saying? It's the one that we can really use to get some change in this motherfucker. And that's that's the key. That's the key word. And it, it, this time period is change. How you gonna change? So you know, with Uranus and Mars up, eventually about to make a trine, and your and Pluto still in Capricorn and shit like that is gonna be a, a grand Earth trine that we can really utilize to also boost ourselves or, or put ourselves in that position, right? And it comes from, of course. Um, and this is going to probably be later degrees or like more when Mars gets into the middle degrees of Virgo because right now, you know, it's early degrees. So it, it might be, you know what I'm saying, we're going to feel the energy influences, but when it really kicks in, it's going to be when Mars is kind of in the middle of Virgo. And, and my, the way it's looking, I, that might just be in Virgo season. You know what I'm saying? It might have, The sun might actually catch up and be in Virgo. If not, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't really matter. The point is, um, you know, the point is using your passions and motivations, right, uh, and, and going about it in a unique way, and also keeping in mind the different things that you are in the process of transforming when it comes to Pluto, Pluto still being in retrograde and shit like that, we still dealing with retrogrades in general, it's like, right now, it's like we all kind of getting the opportunity to, to start to put out what it is that we've been sitting on, and kind of seeing the result of it, and see, when we talk about Virgo and just Earth energy in general, results are another key factor and shit like that, seeing results and shit like that, so with Mars and Virgo, don't be afraid to put your passions out there and see the results, because that's one of the things that actually needs to happen in order for you to know how to move better, you know what I'm saying, like the whole purpose of analytics is to put something out, see how people react to it, and take that data, and then do something with the data, don't just get discouraged, because not a lot of people are watching your videos, take that information and be like, okay, well, who is watching, okay, do people, maybe I should make another video on a different topic, and let me see how people react to that, and then calculate like that, instead of just using that shit to build up a bunch of anxiety or worry about, oh, no, I might never make it, because I'm not, people aren't reacting and responding to my videos the way I want them to do, uh, yeah, fuck all that shit, bro, that shit weak as fuck, you know what I'm saying, we gotta get to a place where we're not allowing that to be the narrative, you know what I'm saying, we create the narrative, so don't allow um, anxiety to be the narrative of your life, don't allow fear to be the narrative of your life, you feel what I'm saying, it's like, we create the narrative, so make sure that your narrative, even if you're going through a bunch of negative situations, even if you're going through turmoil, even if you're going through discouraging moments, take that momentum and make something out of it, be like, nah, yeah, yeah, I went through a lot of tough times, but hey, look, I know that somewhere down the line, though, eventually it's all gonna work out for me and that's a key factor also to keep in mind because Chiron is trying in the sun right now so we seeing mistakes right up front and personal now on one end we're able to see mistakes ahead of time but at the same time we also might be blinded by mistakes on the negative end we might be looking at all the things that could pretend like I said we seeing mistakes from a mile away so we might start convincing ourselves that these mistakes is actually road blockages and we might actually start to believe in these mistakes more than we believe in ourselves and it's like uh-uh like you you can't at the same time it's like uh-uh use this energy to see what you might have did in the past that led you into a situation right now where you might not even feel like you you willing to express yourself and shit like that 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 might have been a mistake itself not expressing yourself enough not actually going out there and seeing for yourself you know what i'm saying so that's just some shit to keep in mind for right now you know what i'm saying i got a video coming up on the esoteric hustler academy channel go ahead subscribe on that shit and also check out the ig you know what i'm saying give us a follow um basically i uh, put out a uh i got a video coming out today about staying encouraged and shit like that so that's gonna be up today probably around four o'clock um other than that you know what i'm saying if you're looking for a reading whether you know natal or a creative consultation you can hit me up at davebeyond95 at gmail.com and i'll get right back to you another uh yeah uh, other than that though much love i appreciate each and every one of y'all and i'll catch you on the next one so peace out